Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making stuffed portobello mushrooms. Yum o! I'm excited about this one. This is going to be a very simple recipe, as are all my recipes. So let me show you what we're going to do first. The first thing you want to do on these portobellos, so I did it on this one, is you want to take the stem out and you want to get rid of the gills. So I'm just going to do that because we want a lot of room in our mushroom so we can stuff it with all this goodness. And it just takes a minute, doesn't have to be perfect. You'll have this great little area to stuff your mushrooms in so you can really pack it full. So we're going to bake these um, for about 10 minutes at 375 just to get them going because they're pretty big. So I have a nice hot skillet here and we're gonna add the onions. And I just got a little water in here. And let's add the garlic. And I'll have exact measurements in the description box. So we're gonna let these cook for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add water as needed. Next we have some red pepper. And if you notice how finely diced these are, and that is the what you wanna do, cause you're gonna be stuffing these mushrooms. So you want these nice little bite size pieces. And I do not chop these by hand. I have a chopper and I will link to that because in my description box, because that is a lifesaver. I'm also gonna add some carrot. And we'll let these saute for another couple minutes. Next, I'm going to add some shredded zucchini. Believe it or not, this is one zucchini. And I shredded it, I let it sit for about 10 minutes, squeezed all the water out, and then I squeezed the even more water out with the, with the dish towel. Because we don't want a lot of moisture in our, in our mushroom, because mushrooms are already gonna give off, off enough water. We just don't want a mushy mushroom, that will be no good. So we're going to saute these around for a little bit. I'm going to add some onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt, and some smoked paprika. And maybe just a hair more water. And let these go for a couple of minutes. And we're almost there. Next we're going to add a little bit of rice. You can use brown or white. I just happen to have white rice. and about a tablespoon of breadcrumbs and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And you'll just wanna get this all incorporated. Now you may think this looks dry, but that's okay because like I said, that mushroom's gonna give off its own moisture once it starts cooking in the oven. The last thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of my plant-based cheese sauce, just to give it extra cheesy flavor. Gonna give this a quick stir and then we're ready to stuff our mushrooms. So you can see this one isn't that great of a doesn't have as much room to stuff as this one. So be careful when picking your mushrooms. I didn't do too good of a job on that one. So we're just going to stuff away here and really mound it on there. It's gonna be so good. Yum! This recipe for is for about two mushrooms. If you're gonna do more than that, of course, double it or triple it. And I'll, I'll even still have some left over. But that's okay, this is great just to eat on its own. All right, I think those look full enough. So we're gonna pop these back in the oven for about 25 minutes. And then we're gonna, in the meantime, we're gonna make a quick little tahini sauce that we're gonna pour on the top. So let me throw these in the oven and we'll get going on that sauce. So to make this super easy tahini dressing, I just use about a quarter cup of tahini. Tahini is such a great fat for you, it's amazing. 
We're gonna do juice of half a lemon. We're going to do some maple syrup. I'll have exact measurements in the description box. And then I'm using a tablespoon of peach, white peach balsamic vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you would like. I'm just in love with this balsamic vinegar from the Rocky Mountain Olive Oil Company. I'll leave their information below. They have every flavor of vinegar you could possibly imagine. Then for spices, we're just gonna use a little garlic powder, salt, and a little bit of smoked paprika. And then we'll just put the lid on and give it a good shake. And then I want to check to see the thickness and I'm going to add a little bit of water just to thin it out a bit and you can do that to your preference and that is it you have a beautiful tahini dressing that we're going to uh, drizzle on top of our mushrooms when they are done so looky there came out perfect love it it's a little crispy on top we're gonna add some of our tahini dressing on here. So we are ready to taste, but let's just talk about this dish for a minute. So what we have here is we start with the portobello mushroom and we added onion, garlic, bell pepper, carrot, zucchini, a ton of veggies. So this thing is loaded with nutrients, and this is how you want to eat. You want to eat foods that are nutrient dense, not calorie dense. This is really a low calorie dish. So I could eat two of these, no problem, with a salad, be totally full, and I would have not that many calories. And that's the beauty of eating a starch-based uh, diet that is high in nutrients, because you get to eat a lot of food, a huge volume of food. And me personally, I like to see a big plate of food. Otherwise, I feel like I'm being restricted. There is no restriction when you eat like this. I mean, you stay within your parameters, of course. You have a starch-based diet, whole food plant-based, and it is delicious. So let's give this a try. Everything on here is whole food plant-based, the cheese sauce, everything. Here we go. Mmm. That is so satisfying. It is cheesy. Ugh, the vegetables are cooked perfectly. That little tang from the tahini. This is a great, great, great dinner, lunch, whatever, and you will love it. So please give this one a try. It's good for you, it's good for the animals, and it's good for the planet. And remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends. Let's get the word out about a plant-based, whole food plant-based diet so we can all be eating these wonderful, delicious foods and improving our health. So until next time, thank you.